hey guys and welcome back to another video so this is another sorting video where we want to sort an array of elements but this time I'm going to use the sorting algorithm called insertion sort so what we're going to want is um, we're going to want to uh, first put a description say this program sorts an array of elements and then I want to show the output that our program is going to ask or enter. So we'll say enter the total number of elements. And maybe we'll put something like three. And then we will ask them to enter the three elements um, from their list. So it may be the number four eight and we'll go with nine then we want to do some sorting on it specifically we want to do insertion sort and after that we want to print the newly sorted array so we'll say after sorting we will print uh, four eight nine all right that wasn't a good example let me uh, change this top here uh, the, the top elements that they've entered so maybe it'd be nine four and eight and then after sorting it still will be the same four eight and nine okay so let's go ahead and get started first I'm going to include my library uh, standard input output at dot h and then we're going to create our main function I'm going to return zero and put system pause in there if you're using a uh, Windows operating system. I don't believe that this is actually necessary anymore, but I've been programming in C for quite some time, and it used to be. So uh, you can comment this out if you are not using a Windows uh, operating system. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do was print out in, uh, we want to print out enter total elements so that the user can enter the total number of elements. So here we go, enter total, we're gonna put number of elements and put a little space there. So then we have to actually get this user's input. So percent %d, we have to create a variable. And I will call this variable size. So I need to create the size variable. OK, so then we want them to enter the three elements. So we're going to have another print statement. Enter the three elements. But we actually don't want specifically three, a fixed size. We want a variable size. So percent %d, which will be the number of elements in the array. And then we want to uh, loop through this array. So I'm going to need some more variables. So I'm going to use i for index, and uh, let's also use, we're going to need an array variable as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create that and put some arbitrary size, like 21, in there. So now we're going to do a for loop for i equals 0. i is going to be less than the size, and the i is going to increment by 1 each time. And in here we want to scan f. Let's see percent d. We want to scan in the user's input into our array at index i. And i is going to keep increasing, so we can get all the elements there. Okay. 
and now what we want to do is we want to actually start sorting uh, the array using the insertion sort algorithm. Alright, so I have to actually create this algorithm. So let's see, integer, we're going to create a function for it. Call insertion sort. Maybe I'll make this a I keep it like that, that's good. And it's going to take in a size, it's going to take in an array. Okay. And now let's actually create this function. So because I have it um, as an int here, we're going to return an integer value. actually start the algorithm. So I'm going to need two loops here. So I'm going to need two indexes, integer i and integer j. And I will need a temporary variable to, to be a placeholder for when we swap and things like that. Okay, so now let's actually start the insertion sorting algorithm. We want it to run from i equals 1 to i less than the size of the array. And then we're going to increment i by 1. And within here, we're going to want to store um, the first value of i and temp. So this will be array at position i. But we also, we haven't included uh, in the index here, position 0. But that's where this comes in, the j. j is going to equal i minus 1. So of course, right now, if i equals 1, then j equals 0. And uh, temp would be the next element in the array from J. All right, so now we're going to have a while loop here, and our while loop is going to run while temp is less than the array at position J and while J is greater than or equal to zero. So if j ever goes below 0, we don't go into this while loop. All right, so now if temp is less than uh, the element in the array at position j, then what we want to do is we want to do some swapping. So swap. So now the array at position j plus 1, so that's the um, next element in the array from J is going to be equal to the previous element in the array. So that's uh, at position J. And then we're going to decrement J by 1. So that way this loop keeps going. Um, eventually J will uh, be less than zero. Okay, so then what we need to do is we need to take our array, at, once we're outside of the while loop, at the position j plus one, and go ahead and um, swap back or swap our temp variable in there. And I think that should do it there. All right, so um, let me go ahead and copy this up here. Place it here. Uh, we're going to take in our size. We're going to take in the array. And 
what else from our output? We want to output after sorting. So I'm going to do a print statement here. After sorting, then we need to go through the array and print it. So I'm going to copy this here, paste. Now, of course, the difference is we don't want to scan in uh, integers this time. We want to print them out. And so that should give us our list of sorted elements. So let me give it a try here. First run, let's see, dot C, and we'll call it insertion sort. Make that a capital I. Save it. Let's see if we get any errors. Wow, no errors. Okay. So we will go ahead and put in four elements. And there goes an error message right there. So let's see what's going on. Um, uh, size, I, array. Um, we're scanning in here. The size. I need my ampersand, and let's see, is that all? I think it is. Let's give it another try. All right, let's do four. Okay, so enter four elements. I'm going to enter three, um, two, one, and five. And it says after sorting, we get one, two, three, and five. And then press any key to continue. That's because of the system pause. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print a new line to make it look a little bit better and more readable. Let's run the program again. Let's see, enter the number of elements. We're going to do three this time. And I'm going to enter three, two, and one. So three, two, and one, although it's sorted, it's not sorted in um, ascending order. It's sorted in descending order. And right now we have our algorithm sorting it in uh, ascending order. So we should get one, two, and three back. All right, perfect. So we got one, two, and three. So thank you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please leave likes. Please leave comments. Please subscribe. Uh, become a support on Patreon, please. And thank you guys for watching, and i see you all in the next video. Also, I will have, a, I will have the code in the description below, so be sure to click on that. And Thank you guys. See you next time.